Hi guys, it's Phil. Wanted to share something with you. The Lord had shown me a while back where I was at in my Christian walk. And I asked that everybody would go ahead and pray and ask Jesus where they're at in their Christian walk and how they can go ahead and change anything in their life and have Him reveal to them what is in the way between having that perfect relationship, you know, between him and the individual. I ended up doing this once, and the Lord had shown me that, I guess the impression I got was that I was the worst kind of Christian out there. Um... Now, don't get me wrong, I was trying. Um, I was doing the best I could with what I had. But I was pretty naive and new to going ahead and talking to people about Jesus. And every time God had revealed something to me, I felt everybody else had to know it. And it started to get me into trouble when it came to I was talking to people because they were coming for help and you know Jesus was helping them and well in spite of me um, and I realized that it was Jesus helping them it wasn't me um, I mean it's easy to go ahead and say that and stuff like that but to really know that you're not getting in the way um, of Jesus Christ and that individual's relationship um, you, you better be hearing God real good. Um, and what I mean by this is, is I would wonder when these people had troubles and they were talking to me and God would give me an understanding. Now, I would immediately go ahead and say, yeah, this is happening because you're this, 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 this. And it's like, you got to change this. Because I was excited, God revealed something to me. The problem was, they weren't ready for it at the time. And the reason I didn't know that is because I never asked. Just because you get a revelation does not mean you're supposed to spew it out. You can go ahead and you can bend and break people doing that. Because if they're not ready for it, it's on you for setting them into the tailspin. Now, if you're listening to Jesus and you're following him and when you get a revelation and he goes ahead and says, yes, you need to say this, ask him how to say it um, and give it the gravity and the weight it deserves. Because when Jesus revealed that I was bending and breaking and abusing his little children, um, it, that was a moment, guys. And if anybody's ever experienced it, I, I know you'll know what I'm talking about, but it was bringing me to tears and I got to see these faces flashing before me, like in my mind, of all the people I did this to. And I couldn't believe that I was that person. Because it's... I don't know, guys. I just, just pray and ask to make sure you're not doing this. If you get a re revelation, pray and make sure you're supposed to be putting out a video um, if you're supposed to be telling a person this because Jesus was big enough to go ahead and help me in my walk and to bring me through my tribulations from where I was at with him in our relationship together. Our relationship does not equal your relationship. Now, we can definitely be examples to people. We can share testimonies, but to be sure we're not bending and breaking them and being a stumbling block for them, we need to be guided by Jesus 100%. Now, I was reading in the Bible shortly after um, God had showed me this like within minutes. And I came across the scripture. I want to say it's in Romans chapter 2, 
Not sure exactly the location. It might even be in Romans 3. I'm not good with addresses. Um, but it said, God was blasphemed blaspheme because of you. And I know that, you know, Paul was talking to the Jewish people because they were saying, you have to do this and that. And it wasn't necessarily the will of, you know, God that this was going on. But if you read the Bible and you see how it applies to you, and all of a sudden you read that verse and it cuts you so deep and so hard that it's like, oh my gosh, I have talked to non-Christians, I've talked to Christian believers, and to get an understanding that because I said something and didn't follow Jesus when I did it, that I caused them to stumble, that is no joke. Now, don't get me wrong. There are times that Jesus goes ahead and says, Phil, you need to say it. And sometimes it can come out boldly. And it can come out with authority. Um, but don't misunderstand authority with anger, guys. Anger is not authority. Anger is the devil. And if you're doing it in that, I don't care how much truth you have. It's going to come out sideways. It's a partial truth. And you are abusing his children too. Now, with this in mind, you get a revelation that says you need to talk to Tom or whatever and go and says the reason this is happening is because he continues to live in his sin. Say a prayer and say, Lord, should I go ahead and tell him this? And if you get that impression that you need to do it, but I want you to make sure of it. Don't misunderstand me. Everybody hears God differently. It can be a feeling, but it will be peace and loving. Even if it's with authority, it, there will be love behind it. Some people go ahead and hear God in a way of, they may even see like a vision type thing. Um, I personally hear God in, to describe it in the best way, if you go ahead and close your eyes and pray um, to yourself, you know, pray to Jesus, but, you know, you're praying it within your mind, you'll kind of hear your own voice. Now, when Jesus is speaking to me, I hear his voice, and it's almost as if I'm listening to it from the outside. Now, don't get me wrong, we have to test spirits. Um... Because each and every one of us has been guilty of hearing that small little voice that came out with, man, he's a jerk. It's like, you should tell him off. And we did it. Um, not Jesus. But when I talk about hearing Jesus, that's how I hear him. And because I'm in a relationship with it, I know it's him. And when I am being told something by the enemy, I know it's him too. So no worries about that, guys. But work on your relationships so that you can do this so you can be more effective for Jesus. If you're going out and just spewing everything it is that God had shown you, great. And you're going to get people hit and miss. Because a broken clock is right, is right twice in a day. You're going to see yourself actually get some hits. But you're not going to be aware of all the people that you crushed in the process. This message isn't necessarily for everybody. Pray. Please ask God to give you an understanding. I'm not bringing this to be your teacher or to condemn anybody. It's a confession that I did it and I knew it was a problem in my life and got in between my relationship with him. And I just don't want it to happen to anybody else. I love you guys. Have a blessed day.